2022 is over. Thank God. This year has been hell. Not gonna have a filter. This year has been hell. Overall, it's been a roller coaster. It's been a punch in the face, a kick in the gut. But it's been really fun. And we're going to get into the discussion on the pros and cons of 2022 right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. Round two. Let's go. Coming soon to a bookstore near you. Wow. Here we are again. March 9th, 2020. I introduced A Fight to Survive. Part 1. Here we are, February 2nd, 2022, as of recording this video, and ever since publishing originally, I knew that I could have done better. I could have edited better, I could have chosen a better cover picture, or even a better cover design, or you know, all these different things. And in my mind, I had this goal when I first published of I'm gonna publish the book, I'm gonna wake up a millionaire. That didn't happen. Here I am two years later, and I knew I could have done better. Then I really sat down and I asked myself, what next for the book? What next for A Fight to Survive? So I started thinking about reworking it, republishing the book. So if you're watching this video right now, there's a good chance that A Fight to Survive will be in a bookstore near you. Those words just came out of my mouth. Now let me take a second to tell you, again, the journey that I went on with republishing, or not republishing, but publishing this book the first time. As you know, I was born with one of the worst disabilities known to man. And I wanted to make sure that I left a legacy of what I went through, how I fought to survive. And that stems from the title, A Fight to Survive. And so in December of 2017, I sat down and started, you know, piecing together bits and pieces of my life that I already knew happened. Then it was the opportunity to ask my mom and dad questions, you know, like, what happened this time, what happened that time, yada, yada, yada. And so basically it was piecing together what they were telling me and putting it onto paper, or in this case, a computer. And I sat down and once I figured out that I had a little bit more than I expected, I went into edit mode edit mode, and fact-checking. I fact-check like crazy. If you've read the first draft of A Fight to Survive, then you'll know 
that there are still things in this book that I had to change. There are still things in this book that need to be corrected, added. You know, it's just a rough draft. I wanted to see what a rough draft of my life would look like between the covers of a book. So that's what I did. And looking back, almost legitimately two years later, I look back and I say, this could have been done better the first time. But I was young. I was young and I was stupid and I didn't know what I was really getting myself into when I first published the book. But when the opportunity came for me to republish that's when I looked at myself and I said, John, this is going to happen for you. You're going to be like all those other authors that get to have their craft in bookstores and on Amazon and, you know, all these other different places. And I knew right then and there that that was what... I wanted for my life. That's what I wanted. I wanted something that my future kids could look back on and be like, Daddy wrote this book all these years ago and he left a legacy for us to follow because Daddy fought to survive. You know, my brother fought to survive. My friend fought to survive. So if you're reading this book, The Rough Draft, or you're watching this video and you have a very special place in my life, I want you to know that this book is for you. It may be about me, but it's my story, hopefully inspiring you as the reader to continue your fight because as I say in the book you don't know when your fight is going to be over we're only on this earth for a short amount of time and it's up to us to figure out why we're on the earth why we are who we are why we're doing what we're doing so with that being said thank you so much for allowing my story to intertwine into your lives. Thank you for allowing me to re retell my story in a better way. The better way that only I can be. I'm not hiring a ghostwriter to write the book. I'm not doing any of that other stuff. I am telling you all my story from the raw perspective of it, right off the cutting room floor. The bits, the pieces, the scraps, every bit of it, it's in there. So if you're watching this video, I'll see you at Barnes & Noble. I'll see you out in the town. Pick up a copy of the book and get ready for a roller coaster journey. Because as long as it took me to write the book, it's taken me that much longer to look at myself as the person that wrote the book look at myself as the person who actually experienced the journey that the book takes you on. So again, that's it. Thank you guys so much. Hey everyone, welcome to John Wood Author. I am, you guessed it, 
John Wood, author of A Fight to Survive, back with a brand new video. Before you go any further in this video, do three things for me. Hit like on this video, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and sit back because this video is going to be awesome. Let's go. Four years, seven months, and eleven days ago, I completed the draft of my very first book, A Fight to Survive. And today, I'm announcing the upcoming store release day for the book. On July 7th, my book will hit shelves in major bookstores and online retailers, such as Amazon and Barnes & Noble. As tradition goes, I will be live on July 7th to celebrate release day with you all. You can go to Facebook and search John Wood Author as well to follow my journey. The link will be in the description. As of today, May 16th, you can order a copy of my book straight from my author page on Lulu by clicking the link pinned at the top of the description. Guys, I look forward to seeing you with a copy of my book very soon. But before I go, I want to give some shout outs to some very special people. To my brother Kyle and to my sister Angie for their beautiful words that adorn the foreword page of the book. To my dear mother, who I know is up in heaven looking at me right now and is very proud of me. My inspiration for the book came from her. And most importantly to you guys for your constant support in this journey. I will leave a link to the video from the very first time that I announced A Fight to Survive to you guys. Guys, I'll see you on the next video with a book in my hand and a smile on my face. Thanks for watching. author on wheels i am the author of a fight to survive before we go on i want you to click like on this video subscribe to the channel and get ready for another awesome video with the author on wheels okay so it's about 24 hours before the event actually a little past 24 hours before and the nerves are hitting like big time so, I'm not sure how I'm going to get through this, but we will see what's going on. Okay, so a couple hours have gone by. I'm getting my book signing bag ready for the event. And I'm just going to go through a few of the things that I have in here. Starting off first with my notebook, general notes, whatever. My iPad, you know what you need an iPad for. I'll probably use it for um, other stuff. My name tag, so that people know who the heck I am. Charger for my iPhone and iPad, dual use. I've got this nifty little, I, uh, I picked this up at Amazon, it's a, it's a post-it note and pen stand. I've got three boxes of business cards plus a full bag of them. And I think that's pretty much it on that. So, yeah. If I forget anything, I will post another clip of what I forget. And, yeah. My bag's all ready. So it is about 15 minutes after noon and my first three periods of speaking are over and so far everyone has been really open and perceptive so yeah awesome well it's over a day of speaking numerous handshakes and a couple of book sales and hopefully the opportunity to instill a little bit of wisdom into the lives of some students. So thanks to Navarre High School for having me in. Thanks to Mrs. Mitchell 
and I am very, very blessed. So, see you guys later. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Let me just stop here to give my thoughts on this. July 10th was the worst day of my life. It started out pretty good, but ultimately it was the worst day of my life. Because at 6.55 p.m. on July 10th, my dad left this world. And that's a bitter pill to swallow. You think things are going good one minute and then BAM! Life hits you in the face. Life isn't fair. Life sucks. And it's memories like that that I'd rather leave in 2022. Hey everybody, this is the Author on Wheels. Today, we're going to do the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge with Ralph Powell and Tim Kane. Before we do this, I challenge Megan Mitchell, Kyle Costa Wood, and Angela Crawford. If you take the challenge, you will have 24 hours to complete it or donate $100 to the ALS Foundation. Let's do this. Our first challenge, Tim Kane. One, two, three. Woo! Our second challenger, Mr. Ralph Powell. One, two, three. Woo! All right. I challenge Kyle Coastal Wood, Megan Mitchell, and Angela Crawford to do this challenge. A hundred bucks to the ALS Association if you don't do it in 24 hours. Ready? 24 hours. John. Mike. Yo. Okay. Let's see if we can get Benny in here. Let's see. Hopefully so. All right. Sorry, we have to do it from my podcast, apparently, and I'll try to find a way to get over to... The other podcast to add the stuff. Benny? I'm here. All right. Okay. All right. Awesome. Um, Sorry. This is kind of how we're going to do it for this first thing, I guess. I don't know how well it's going to work. But um, what I'll do is I'll save the audio on my end and try to transfer it over to the other uh, podcast. Yep. Okay. Or Or we'll just do something like that. But what I'll do is I will make a mental note to cut out the first minute of the episode. Ready? Sounds good. All right. Yeehaw. Welcome to the Good Old Boys podcast.
And as of recording this clip, it's Christmas Day. And just yesterday, I want to say, correct me if I'm wrong, 5,000 views on this channel. Wow. I'm shocked that a goal that I set reached its fruition two days before Christmas, and we are six days away from the end of the year. So, like, my goals have been reached and blown past. That's amazing. I am immensely excited about what 2023 has to offer, and I hope you guys join us for amazing things to happen in 2023. Had I not made the decision to renovate this channel, I wouldn't be where I am today. And it's with your support that I'm able to be where I am today and have all the success that you guys have given me. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me through these three years. Three years does not seem like a long time. But when you're fighting to tell your story, it's worth a lifetime of gold. Thank you guys so much for allowing Author on Wheels to be Author on Wheels. I love you guys. Thank you. And most importantly, don't stop telling your story. Like I always say, your story is like your thumbprint. It's unique to you. It cannot be changed or reproduced. So continue telling your story. And thank you for allowing me to be able to tell my story for the past three years. Thank you all so much. I'm going to end this video by saying thank you all so much for all the support and the love in 2022. And let's go into 2023 with the mindset of winning. So from all of us here at the Author on Wheels, Happy New Year. Let's make 2023 better than 2022. Thank you all for watching. God bless.